Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Minecraft Pixel Mon video on the Pokey Smash Ludicolo server. I am still sick, which, you know, I'm really over this. I'm over this, okay? It's been like a week and a half, uh, and I'm over it. Like, just stop. Like, you, you made your point. I now appreciate being healthy, unlike ever before. If you guys out there are healthy and feeling good, you know, appreciate that. Because not everyone can be as blessed as that, okay? I cannot wait to be healthy again. I'm gonna do so many jumping jacks, you have no idea. <coughs> Welcome back to another video on the Ludicolo server. Uh, only like eight players online. What the frick is happening, gents? Like, come on. I We just announced that there's gonna be a $1,000 giveaway and we only got eight players online? All right, like sweet. I mean, I guess I'll just win the giveaway, easy peasy. But anyway, I've been playing a little bit off camera just to, just to vibe, you know, with the boys and I found myself a wormhole or portal to the ultra space world sound world ultra space sound what am I saying forgot what it was called for a second but yeah I do want to go to ultra space in today's episode uh, normally you know you would need a pie a, a pie roar. oh my gosh I'm literally all over the place I'm sick okay that's my excuse now normally you would need a Sogaleo or a Lunala to spawn in a wormhole but they also do spawn <clears throat> I hate my life, but they also do spawn in naturally. So I'm hoping that I can just run around maybe RTP and uh, and, and come across one because I did find one earlier, but I I was not recording. Also, this is the best that I felt all day. So hopefully um, good vibes and good stuff will happen from this. So anyway, let's go ahead and RTP, see if we can find any sort of wormhole. I'm actually going to put in chat. All right, I put in chat. If, hey, if anyone finds a wormhole in the space, let me know um, because that would be sweet if anyone else finds it. I don't necessarily have to find it. Oh, and Robert said that he can spawn one. That's actually dope. Totally down to use and abuse Robert for his wormhole purposes. Not his other holes. Just, I'm only going to abuse him for the wormhole. Not his butthole. All right. Now that that's out the window, let's do this. Hey, oh my god, wait, they made it a really cool. It, it didn't used to look this awesome. What the heck? I hope they don't have brown, because if they have brown... Then it'll look like a butthole, and I don't want it to look like a butthole. But no, it looks like it's just like pinkish and yellowish for the most part. That's freaking dope! Alright, sweet. So we do have a lot of Pokeballs on us still. Uh, I do, I probably should bring more, but do I have anything in my e-chest? Uh, Alright, whatever. Let's just go with the Pokeballs we have. So, I'm not 100% sure exactly what spawns in here, but I do know that there's... All right, so that was super loud. Oh, look, it's a Pikachu. Hi. Uh, oh, my God. Dude, I should have come here to catch my Pikachus. Oh, also, I did catch another Pikachu off camera, but its IVs are trash. So I wasn't going to mention anything, but this guy, he forced me to. Oh, I also caught an Abra. You probably saw that at my party. And we're like, hey, what's up with this Abra? Um, yeah, I, I caught it, and now it's mine. So this is the Ultra Space, if you guys did not know- No way we caught on the first try, let's freaking go, ladies and gents. So, in the Ultra Space dimension, basically, there's like every single biome all over the place, and a bunch of Pokemon spawn here. A lot of Pokemon spawn here, so it's a really good way to find some new Pokemon that I've never found before. Um, and- and start catching away. Wait, does this boy evolve into Talonflame? I think he does. I really want to catch it then, because Talonflame is really good. Low key, low key. That's going to kill it. Let's go for a knockoff. That's not going to do much damage, but you know. Okay, perfect. We do another one. He'll be in the red, maybe. And then we catch him then. Perfect. Dude, I'm literally the best. So, what the Ultra Space is, you might ask. I'm not entirely sure I would answer. I never really played Generation 7. It's a Generation 7 thing. And, um... Oh, Abra's evolving! I forgot I have the XP all on. Sweet! Awesome! It doesn't look like he actually is going to evolve, and he didn't evolve. Well... That's awkward. What's up, dude? Why- what, what's up with you? I mean, your, your IV stink anyway, so honestly, don't really care. But whatever. Let's go ahead and catch this Fletchling as well. This way, we will be able to breed the two of them, potentially. I don't know if the first one I caught was a guy or a girl. I should have paid attention to that. But I'm trash! So, of course I didn't. But anyway, and we caught him first try. Oh my gosh, we are getting so lucky. So let's go ahead and check out our brand new Pokemon. And 36% trash, 52%. 30 in attack, actually. That's not, it's not too shabby. Anyway, let's move on. So there are also some legendaries that spawn here, I believe. I know that there are Ultra Beasts that spawn here. 
Do all the Ultra Beasts spawn here? I don't know. I know that some of them do, though. So I'd totally be down to catch some Ultra Beasts in today's episode. Now, big shout out to Robert for letting this even be a thing, because uh, if it weren't for him, I probably would not have even found a butthole yet. I mean, wormhole yet. So, perfect. Oh, by the way, uh, last episode, I saw one like equals one feel better. It didn't work. It didn't work, boys. W you know, you guys left a ton of likes, but um, unfortunately, it didn't work. So, uh, what we're going to do today is one comment. All right, one comment that does feel better. It's actually going to work. I need something. I need some mojo going my way. I don't really know what it's going to be, but whatever we tried last time, it didn't work. So, oh, okay. What's up? What the frick? Oh, is that another one? Oh, my God. We're getting some beast ball loot, baby. What is good with that? I guess. Oh yeah, that 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 is a thing. So beast ball loot spawns <coughs> spawns in ultra space. So that's 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 uh that's cool. Hopefully we can find some more of those. So ultra space is really weird. There's like a bunch of islands and stuff. It's kind of how it works with low gravity. Yeah, it's weird. And the and the and the fog this changes color. Pretty sure you can turn off your fog. Whoa! Oh. Shul there are shulkers? I didn't know shulkers, shulkers could spawn. I feel like someone's probably been here already, right? But anyway, if you turn off your fog, then uh, I'm pretty sure like it doesn't even show up very much and you can get away with seeing very far without fog on. I actually might not have fog on. I don't know. Oh, and here we go, baby. A focus sash. Nice. A picky peck. I don't know what that is, to be honest, but it sounds cool. One of my best friends had a dog growing up. His name was Peaky. It was a Yorkshire Terrier. Most annoying thing in the world. I hated it so much. All right, we got another beast ball thing. Oh, someone's been here before, apparently. Sunny day. I think that I want to find a desert because I want to say that's where Glyscor spawns. Oh, dude, there's actually so many of these beast balls. I'm not even kidding. If you guys go to, uh, to, to this dimension, to the ultra space, you could definitely get a lot of really awesome items here. But yes, yeah, so I think that's where Glyscor spawns. Or I guess Gligar. Oh no, he spawns, he definitely spawns in the swamp actually, never mind. So if I can find a sw- I just pushed that knocked out so far. Get bodied, little boy. But I do want to find a swamp so that I can find myself a Gligar because I want to use one. They're really awesome. They are ground and flying type, which means that electric d it does nothing against them because they're ground. And ground does nothing against them because they're flying. So it has a lot of immunities. It's really tanky and it also hits hard. And it's fat. Like, it's it's just a really, really good Pokemon. So, I feel like I found every single biome in the game, except for desert or swamp. Ooh, Grass Nod. That's actually a really good move. I think Pokemon, for whatever reason, I'm thinking, ooh, please tell me you have a really, really bad Pokemon to start things off. A Dratini. Yes. Oh, and he's got a Beldum. Look, everyone's getting levels, but neither of these Pokemon are very, they're not involved at all. That Beldum, actually, that reminds me. Our very next gym battle is against Poison, so he would be perfect. And Riolu! Oh my god, if we get a Lucario? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That would actually be sick. Cool. So, I already have Riolu, actually. Uh, it doesn't have the best IVs, but uh, I guess it's usable. To get a Metagross, they spawn in the Mesa, I want to say? I don't think I've found a Mesa yet, so... That is going to be an, an entire task in and of itself. Ooh, Blizzard, let's go, and another one. Yo, wait, the Ultra Space is actually broken as far as items go? Like, what the frick? But yeah, so, the next gym is Poison, so I... Hmm, I was literally about to say, so I'm looking to find some pretty good Steel-type Pokemon. Here's one right here, but he evolves level 55, so that's kind of annoying. And there we go, we called that bad boy, but if you guys have any recommendations on some Pokemon that we should be trying to catch for the Poison Gym, be sure to uh, go ahead and comment that down below. The heck? I just found another fortress? There's a Beast Ball here. Sky Drop. I have no idea what the heck that move does. Alright, so here we have a Swamp, which is where Gligar spawns. So, hopefully we can find one. I'm also looking for... I forget exactly what biome it is. It's like the Desert M or Desert... Hills M plus some weird some weird. I know it's with the desert, but if you find it Whatever it is, I forget exactly what it's called But anyway, if you find it in the ultra space That is where Pheromosa spawns and initially when Pheromosa spawned there I'm sure it's patched by now, but literally it spawned everywhere you looked every single Pokemon that spawned there was basically a Pheromosa So I'm hoping that they didn't patch it so that I can find one, but 
Also, that biome itself is really rare to find in general. Just realized that my fan was on this entire time. I do not know if that got in the way of my mic. I, like, I don't know if you guys could hear it. If you could, I am deeply, deeply sorry for that. It's just really hot in my room. I'm sick. I'm not feeling good. And I, I, I need a fan in my life. The one that blows air. Whoa, that, if, thank God I said air. Holy cow. Anyway, what does this one do? Ooh, soft boil. Look at all these freaking TMs I got just from being here. Like what? Ooh, we found a Faroki, dude. What? They're actually so rare to find. Let's go. A dive ball. I, does that work better because he's a water Pokemon? I don't know. I hope we catch it though because it'll make, nope. Okay, well, I guess we'll use something else. Oh, there we go. We caught him. Boom. Let's go, baby. Let me uh, let me go ahead and check that boy's IVs real quick. What's up, dude? Flash IV 6, 49%. I feel like you're way more likely to get really bad IVs than really good IVs. Is that just me? Like, is that a thing? I feel like it's a thing. Like, a lot of times, you know, the IVs are around 50%, which makes sense. But I feel like I'm way more likely to get a Pokemon that has, like, 12% IVs than 78% IVs. But in theory, it should be the exact same chances. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think I am going to call it there. Been recording for almost half an hour now, and just I'm just not feeling great. Not feeling too great. <coughs> But I think that this episode was really productive. We caught an awesome amount of Pokemon. I showed you guys what the ultra space dimension was like. I actually haven't been here in a while, so it was nice and refreshing. We got a crap ton of TMs and, and items in general. We, uh, we know what we're looking for as far as what Pokemon we want to battle the Poison Gym. I guess the only Pokemon left to really catch for that would be a Beldum or a Metagross. And for that, we would need to go to the Mesa, which I do not know where Mesa is, but hopefully we can find one in the short future. But anyway, as I sit here falling to my doom, just kidding. Boom. Anyway, shout out Robert once again for letting me go to the Ultra Space. I really appreciate that. If you guys did enjoy today's video, be sure to go ahead and slap a like rating. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Uh, sorry that the content hasn't been very consistent or uh, amazing, you know, being sick is not fun. So uh, I hope that you guys can understand. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed nonetheless. My name is Siren and I will catch you all in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye. <laughs>